Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have an exciting project share to share with you guys because this is like something completely new that I have never done before. And there's so many new things that I did with this. So I want to show you guys, I'll tell you guys all about it. And we're going to get right into the video. Also guys, this beautiful folio journal is available for sale. Um, at the time of filming this video, it is available. I'm not sure once it's posted, but you guys could check the link in the description box down below. I'll have a link to this. If it's sold, it'll say sold. Otherwise, there will be a link that you guys could click on um, to purchase it from my Etsy shop. So yeah, all right, let's keep going into my video. Okay guys, so I don't even know where to start with this because there's so many new things. Okay, but first, I made my first ever full fabric cover. So this lemon looking paper, this is all fabric. Um, yeah, it's so pretty guys. I got the fabric from Michaels, it came in a set. It was like some summery set or something. So this is the set that it came in, there was the um, a lemon which I used so much of it this is all I have left which is gonna be enough for like the spine of an album maybe two albums if I get lucky um, so that's all I have left I used a lot because I covered the whole entire thing I also got some pineapple one I don't even know what this one is um, then there's like some words and I really like the watermelon one as well um, but I mainly got it for the lemon like when I saw this lemon I knew I wanted to make something with it so I made a lemon themed folio style junk journal. So first that was new to me because it's a full fabric cover. Second, this is new to me because I actually used a digital junk journal kit. So I printed everything out and I didn't know like what kind of paper I should be printing it out on. Like this is all new to me. Like I'm even new to like this junk journal vintage kind of style. Um, so digital was even newer to me um so i printed everything on a regular like copy paper but i found that as i was making this i kept going back and reprinting the pages on cardstock um it was just giving me more um durability it was just easier to work with there's a couple of pages that i used with the copy paper and you guys will see that i'll point it out but I did tend to go more for the cardstock ones. So if you are gonna guys gonna get this uh, lemon digital junk journal kit, which is beautiful by the way, it's from Liana Scrap. That's the Etsy shop and I'm gonna have her link down below. Um, and she does all like digital junk journals, um, elements and kits and things like that. So, I mean, you could get a lot of stuff from her shop and it's only like $3 for this whole entire kit. And you could reprint it as many times as you want, which is great. Um, so here are some of the papers. These are like the cut apart sheets that she had tags and pockets, which this page I ended up not using. I used the other bigger tags and I didn't use any of these like smaller pockets, which I totally could have, but I didn't. Um, I didn't use this page either. It's got little like ticket stubs and some uh, flags and some circle elements. I did use this one. This one had um, tags and like these smaller little cut apart things which I will show you guys throughout. I did use that one. And again, I ended up reprinting everything on cardstock. So I had it on cardstock. I used, I think, I don't know, did I use this page? I can't even remember. Maybe, maybe not. I know I used this and you could either use this in like an actual journal or cut it in half and that's what I did on some of this to mat the pages. I know I used this one. I believe I used this one as well. Um, I don't know. I think I used this one and I think I used this one also. So it's like a mix of like lemony, like blues, pinks, and um, the yellows with the lemon. And it's like, has like the vintage -y vibe. It is so pretty guys, I love it. And when I saw that lemon paper, I was like, I have to make this work. Or not the lemon paper, but the lemon fabric. I was like, I have to make this work. Okay, so that was first. Second, I followed a tutorial by 
I don't know who by um let me go find that out okay so the tutorial is by someone on youtube called rt maze rt maze um so i will have the link down below as well you guys could check them out um so i followed their tutorial um and that person is new to me also i don't know how i find these channels i just sometimes i go down youtube rabbit holes and i click this click that click that and i just find good content um and stuff for me to try and i just save it for when i feel like trying something new um so anyway all right let's just get into the journal i'm gonna show you guys everything i did so here is my front cover i did that lace trim that i love and you guys see in like every single album i make I had a cut apart that I just found in my stash that matches this and it says life is beautiful. I put some sunflowers, some white flowers, and then some of these like ivory flowers which you guys are going to see or actually you guys just saw this in a haul video. Tiffany um, recommended these. She said these are her favorite. Um, so I ended up using it on here. I spread them out a little bit um, and they look really cute there with the gold centers. And I have some uh, green enamel dots and it's so pretty guys. I also did some stitching around the edges so it's like a, a zigzag stitch and this is on chipboard so it's nice and sturdy um here is the spine and then the back side it's got my logo here and there's a seam binding closure and then this is this other spine and you've got like an elastic here which you guys will see because there's a journal in there oh my gosh so cute so i'm gonna open this up with my seam binding closure and the seam binding is from my scrap cabin shop so I will have her link down below. I have three different colors in here. I have this one, I have this tan, and there's also a blue one in here. Um, so I will have my scrap cabin shop link down below. So you open this up and look at this gorgeousness. So I used digitals as you guys saw, um, the digital junk journal like elements, but I also used some elements from, um, it's called something lemon from recollections from michaels so it's called when life gives you lemons now i only used one paper from here which is where's that paper okay so i used this page i pretty much used the whole entire sheet like this i only have these two scrappies left so i'm holding on to that here and I also used some of the um, cut aparts, like this cut apart sheet. I used that as well um, in this album just for more cut aparts. And then I also used some from my stash. And then I also did use some of the digital ones that came in the junk journal kit. Um, I definitely used some of these as well. So you open this up. I have a pocket here. And you guys, I did inking around all of this. I did a lot of inking, guys. <laughs> So I have this pocket here, that's that other paper that's not from this collection, and I have some cut aparts in here. Two of these are from the printable, and they look like this. So you could do some journaling on there. They're so pretty, and you could add a photo to the back. And then I also have this one, which is from that When Life Gives You Lemons collection from Michaels, and I included that in here, and it says the best is yet to come. So I have those living in this pocket on the left hand side. Then here in the center you guys could see more of the lemons. It's so pretty isn't it? Oh my goodness I just love it. And the fact that you could print as many pages as you want is like amazing. So you guys should definitely check it out. Again I'm going to have it linked down below. Um, so this opens up like this. Oh and if you guys aren't subscribed yet please click that red subscribe button down below. Give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on your bell notification so that you guys are notified of when I post new videos. Um, I'm off for the summer so there's gonna be a lot more projects coming your way. Um, so anyway this opened up this flap. You have a journal spot here which is from the digital collection. It's a nice little journal spot right here. I have this pocket here and then I also have that other paper from the Recollections Michaels paper pad. So here is another cut apart from the digital collection. Then I also use the tags like I told you guys and this is the longer tags that I used and I had an eyelet, added some seam binding so you could do some journaling on the back so I added that tag as well. And then I have another cut apart from the lemon paper which is called, which it says be happy be bright be you and I did inking around all the edges just so it matches better with this so I have all that living in this pocket now this pocket is another pocket because this top piece has a hidden pocket as well 
and I have this like large um, library kind of holder tracker so you could just write your notes here do some journaling add a photo on the back and that lives in this larger pocket in here okay so that's that and then this closes back up then this flips to the left hand side like that and you have another pocket here so i have another cut apart from the digital journal collection aren't these so pretty like the graphics on this is so pretty look how everything is like so well blended together you've got the pinks the lemons you got some of the blues tied in there. It's so pretty, guys. I have this tag also with an eyelet and some seam binding and love the lemons. And then I have this cut apart from the lemon paper collection. So I have that as well. And those live in this side loading pocket here. Alrighty. Then in the center here, I have a double pocket. So I have these two. This is another journal uh, card from the collection this is one from that lemon paper and then i also have another one from the collection that says enjoy today and then here is a tag with the digital kit and then this graphic um, goes together so i just have that here and then these just go back into their pockets like so okie dokie then here there is a built-in journal in this like folio so this actually unties and looks like this and this is on a um it's on the elastic so you could take it out um, and then write on it or you could just leave it in here or you could replace it when it's finished um whatever you want and you could also probably just add in more pages in between on the elastic as well and i'll show you guys that um, so here I have a cut apart from my stash that says happy with some gold foiling here. I have some enamel dots. I've got the blue seam binding now. It's like a blue turquoisey kind of color. So then this opens up like this. You've got some journaling you could do here. You've got a vellum page next. You've got a doily. You've got some pink dyed paper that I made. You've got more of that like printed paper and this is where I use that thinner paper here and I stuck two together and I love like that crinkly kind of sound like I don't know if that makes sense like it's still somewhat crinkly because it's not so thick and I like that because it kind of goes with the pink dyed paper um, so you could do journaling on here you could add a photo more journaling or add a photo then I have this paper thing here more pink dyed paper I have a glassine bag. Here's another cut apart from the collection, from the digital collection. And I have that living in this glassine bag. Here's more journal paper from the collection, from the digital collection. Isn't it just so pretty, guys? There's so much space for journaling in here. I love it. And see, that's the crinkle sound I love. Okay, so there's more journaling on the back. Here I have a little tuck spot that has like this glassine envelope with one of those little teeny cut aparts from the digital collection and then I just have that living in here and that is paper clipped right here on the side then here I have another like vintagey kind of photo it's like some Tim Holtz ephemera um, here is the center so you have the elastic and then you have the um, wax thread from the album itself so you still have to thread the journal first and then attach it to the elastic, but you could easily take this out and you could replace your journal. You don't even have to have this in here, um, but this is the whole journal. It just comes out. You could take it with you. You could replace it when it's done, or you could also add more photos in between here. If you add more photos right here, it should hold and stay in place. So yeah, if you add some more pages and you need some more pages, that's fine. You could totally do that as well then here we got more of the pink dyed paper here's the other side of the journal page and then here's more some lined paper here's the other side of the glassine bag and i have two more of those little like cute little um journal cards from the digital collection they're so cute and i just have them living in here but feel free like whoever buys this album like you could add these throughout and make them little like tuck spots also so feel free to do that with them as well then here you've got the pink dyed paper again then you've got this thing i forgot what this is called so i'm not even going to try 
more journal paper from the digital collection i just love how it all looks guys i love it so much you got the pink dyed paper again you've got the doily you've got the vellum and then you've got this is um this is chipboard mixed with paper so the outside is uh, not chipboard um cardstock and the inside is the paper see how this is like sturdier but this is not as sturdy and i really like the wrinkling of this so this is the copy paper and then this is copy paper with um cardstock so that is the whole journal guys so then you could just tie this up and that will stay closed and again i have that blue seam binding with this closure so that goes there and then you could just flip that to that side then here I have another tuck spot. This says smile with some gold foiling. I have some cut aparts here. These are, these are just some from my stash. And again, I just thank you guys so much for sending me your cut aparts. I appreciate it so much. And you guys could see I use them all the time. Like I love it. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, so this one says sweet moments. You could write your list down here. You could write something on the backhand side, which says this is good. Um, and cherish every moment 24 7 and you could do some journaling and I inked all the edges so that one I have living in this tuck spot here in front of that beautiful um, digital paper and then I also had this journal card also like a little piece that you could stick anywhere really like if you want to stick it here you want to stick it here you want to stick it here like you could stick this anywhere you could glue it down inside the journal whatever you want but I have it living in here in this little tuck spot then this opens up like this here you have an envelope so inside this envelope i just have some goodies so it says hello here's the story and this one says enjoy the journey some lined paper and then the back side you could also do some journaling on and these all have back sides also and i inked all the edges as you guys could see so those i just have living in this pocket but you could obviously add photos and whatnot if you want to do that instead um then this is that other flap that opens and this opens up like this here i have another journal card that just looks like this it says words to live by and i've got a pocket here that i made and that just lives in here so there's plenty and plenty and plenty of journal space you could journal in here you could add a photo in there like there's so much space there's the journal itself that you could remove and take out there's all these like cut apart elements and things like that. I just love it so very much. So that is the whole entire lemon journal I made. I hope you guys like it. It's definitely new to me. Um, but if you guys seen my channel, this is definitely new to my channel as well because I've never done anything like this before. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I hope you guys like it. I love, love, love how this turned out. It is so cute. I'm also going to have links to the seam binding down below, links to the tutorial, and links to the digital lemon collection kit. So I will link that down below as well. So pretty, so worth it. You can reprint it as many times as you want. Highly recommend. And that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.